welcome to San Fernando. We're here at the Foro Marine Protected Area Watchtower. And behind me are over 44 hectares of area dedicated to conservation of marine species. Come along with us as we see the great work being done by the residents of this barangay. Located in the province of La Union, Philippines, the municipality of San Fernando is home to three marine protected areas, or MPAs, the newest of which is located in Barangay Poro. Established in 2014, the area covers a core zone of 10.4 hectares and a buffer zone of 34 hectares, and restricts the type of fishing and activities that can be done there in order to preserve the marine environment. In addition to the general preservation of marine life, the Poro MPA also serves as a spawning and feeding ground for different species, thus helping prevent the depletion of the local fish stock, which serves as a vital source of income for the local community. Preserving the area serves as an investment in the continued livelihood of the community. Uh, overfishing kasi noon dyan. Dyan sa may MP natin, uh, mayroon na uh, activity dyan na uh, nangyayari. Pero ngayon, pagka-MP kami, yung, uh, yung pangalala namin nandyan na. No? Then yung mga mga isda namin, hindi ka na pwedeng pumunta doon. Eh. Kasi siyempre, bahay, bahay na yan, hospital na yan, hospital na isda yan. Uh, Kumatabi dito, kulang na yung nakukuli na isda. In 2012, the oil pipeline of a major company ruptured, spilling over 10,000 gallons of crude into the surrounding bay. This, combined with years of overfishing, served as a catalyst for local government officials to finally act to try and preserve this resource, which provides a livelihood for so many of the local inhabitants. Of the 7,000 people living in Barangay Poro, over 30% of them depend on fishing as their main source of income. This puts undue pressure on the local marine environment. We are here at Poros Fisherman's Village. Members of this community believe that marine life is a resource that must be protected for future generations. This empowers them to act as local enforcers of the marine protected area. <laughs> Both the city government and the Poro Council are actively pursuing new possibilities in ecotourism. The Poro Marine Protected Area presents a promising setting for the city as it has some of the most unique and well-preserved corals in the Philippines. New ventures in ecotourism will expand the economic opportunities available to the Poro community and bring in new sources of revenue. Women from this community are largely responsible for bringing the fish to market, preparing it, and selling it. They stand to gain substantially from new economic opportunities in the coming years. Madal na sa panglimang year na po tayo, uh, sila kasama pa rin natin ang ISO, mm -hmm. uh, City Governor of San Fernando, Chevron, and PNC. Challenges siguro po yung ipagpapatuloy natin ito eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, after five years, ito na, ito na po yung makikita natin na magtatapos ang limang taon, tapay na ba sila sa kapila sa kapila. Despite being a fledgling initiative established only in 2014, the Poro Marine Protected Area is already an example for the conservation of marine species, in addition to being a potential hub of sustainable ecotourism right here in the Philippines. This in turn could expose the local community to all sorts of new job opportunities, further reducing the strain on the local fishing stock. Finally, this type of community-based initiative is a model that could be exported to other communities, not only around the Philippines, but around the world. We thank you for taking the time to explore this fascinating part of the world with us. And we look forward to seeing you in Poro on your next big adventure. Salamat po.